What's up guys? Welcome back to welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be working on the 135. We're gonna try to figure out why it's getting that check engine light. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you. Now in the last video, uh <laughs> you guys guessed it. Yeah, I'm gonna throw up you guys' comment right there. The thing is with me, guys, you guys see me, I build my cars, and I really wanna end up drifting them, taking them down to the track, and doing all this stuff. When you go to places like that, you have to sign a contract stating that if your car gets messed up, totaled, or for any reason, you know, even for yourself, if, if anything happens, uh, you are completely responsible for yourself. And uh, that kind of scares you for the fact that if somebody else hits my car, you know, that's not because of me, that's because of somebody else, and because of somebody else, I am now set back in life and uh, you know that's just because of an accident if I was to get in an accident in a track you know that would set me back in life as well if my engine was to blow up because I was pushing it too hard for any reason I mean obviously I, I pretty much set this 135 up ready for track I even got that that pulley thing uh, the the serpentine guard make sure even if the belt snaps like it doesn't get stuck into the engine like my friend did when we went down to the track we did all the maintenances all the gaskets we tried to make sure this 135 is pretty much track ready and I do believe it's track ready but I can't risk the fact that we are trying to get some new builds on the channel. This i8 is just freaking, I don't know why. <laughs> but we do need to get some new builds on the channel. Unfortunately, if I have to look over the 435 or the 135 right now, uh, you guys know that it has to be the 135. The 435 means a lot more to me. Um, but I mean, obviously, when we're getting an M build, it is going to be very costly. And we'll just see where the channel is going to take us. But uh, remember, always have faith in me. I always end up making my builds crazy. But we have to get more builds on the channel. You know, that's just what we do. Hashtag save a BMW. All right, finally, the i8. It kind of chilled out. I don't know what was going on there. Alright, so first things first, let's head down to the gas station. We need to put some gas in Copper Jr. Now I haven't driven the car with the new exhaust system and uh pretty much it has no gas either. So let's go ahead and fill up some gas, do a few pulls, see if we can get that check engine light, and see what's actually going on with this car. Guys, this car drives so nice, and I literally just got it ready too. Like literally, I build cars to make people's lives. I mean, honestly, whoever that buys this car is really getting one heck of a BMW. Like look, no lights on the dash. They're getting an N54 that has all the maintenance done, all the major maintenance, including wastegates. I mean, like, come on. This thing has pretty much everything done to it. Oil pan gasket, transmission pan, everything has been done to it. All the fluid, ignition coils, spark plugs. It literally hurts me to think that I have to get rid of this car because the fact is, whoever that's getting this car is getting a, a fully maintained N54, which is really rare. This is the 2010, so it comes with the, uh, the, the, LC, the CIC, and on top of that, it actually comes with the navigation. 135s, typically the ones I've seen, don't come in navigation. This is also the M Sports. You get the M Sport steering wheel, the M Sport seats, the M Sport trims, uh, the M Sport body kit from factory. So by name, this car is worth a lot more because of the M Sport. And on, on top of all that, it's a clean title. So this car has no waste gear rattle, no nothing like that. Um, I, I, I want it. I don't want to overprice the car. And that's the reason I'm taking off the wheels because I don't like overpricing my cars, but the wheels and tires are brand new that I feel like I want to uprice it. So I just have to take off the wheels and tires. It just, I mean, it, I just have to do that. And I'm thinking about only selling the car for $10,000. Um, I'm looking all over the market right now at how much this car is going for and stock, absolutely stock. This is full bolt on with a tune and everything. Uh, all the maintenance done and uh, M Sports, navigation, all the good stuff. And I'm selling it for 10. Even the 1M body kit, the exhaust and everything, even full I mean, down pipes and everything. So, but I do a package deal. If someone wants to buy the cars with these wheels, I'll do 10.5. If you guys want to get the wheels, I'm only selling the wheels for $500, which is absolutely insane. But I'm only going to sell for 500 if you guys buy the car as well. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get some gas. check engine really quick um let's go ahead and go home and figure out what this is i'm gonna go ahead and just run another diagnostic and uh hopefully you figure out what it is it honestly sounds like a boost leak i thought it was the downpipe but i'm starting to think it's probably uh, a boost leak so uh let's go ahead and figure it out all right guys so we're getting an engine uh so fuel pressure sensor again everyone has this i don't think that's the issue but we did get a 30 ff code which is a boost leak so i think that is the cause 
Um, and it sounds honest like a pretty big boost leak when I whenever I floor it So we got to figure out what that is exactly first things first um, We definitely have to check all the vacuum lines So uh, we need to make sure none of our vacuum lines are pinched all of them are connected So that's gonna be our first number one thing So let's go ahead and just check all of our vacuum lines This thing does seem a little bit loose, but I doubt that is our issue that we're miss we literally it literally feels like we're, we're missing a lot of boost like a huge boost leak So we need to figure out why that is um ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's go ahead and set you guys down and go ahead and do a nor diagnostic. I don't really, oh man, I love in 54s. All right, guys, so we went ahead and removed this one because it looks really, really, really bad, and so does this one. Uh, basically, what happened was is when I unplugged the top of this, I noticed I heard some kind of air leak coming around from over here. This is plastic, so it doesn't seem, everything seems to be good over here, but uh, those two lines were right there. They were, it looked like one of them was something was wrong with this. So I ended up replacing both of them, uh, just a little piece. I could have replaced the whole thing, but I didn't have enough of the blue, and I decided to wrap the two blue ones over here just to get the top of the canister done. We did the two right there, and then obviously the, the, the one for the top blow off out because I do feel like that one's one of the most important ones because that's aftermarket. So we still have the two that go from the bottom of the canister all the way up to here, but we did half of it. And the other one that goes down to the turbo, and then obviously we have that one right there and that one right there. This one seems to be 100% fine, so I'm going to be rocking it. And uh, this one now is good. So I, I think in terms of boost sticks, we should be good. Um, I Again, I think I think the problem was right here. I think I heard sound over here. We won't know until we actually take it out for another spin. So uh, let's take it out for another spin. Fingers crossed. You know what's ironic? I always end up cutting myself whenever I work on this car. So that is exactly why I got a first aid kit. And uh, I literally left it in this car because I know whenever I'm working on it, I'm gonna need some bandages. N54 owners, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so let's go ahead and take it out for our first spin and uh, hope to God everything is gravy in the Navy. I have low hopes because it's such an easy fix, but at the same time, at 30 FF, that's exactly what it is. It's just a boost stick and it could be one of those lines that I just replaced. I have a 50-50 chance in terms of hope, so uh, let's give it a shot, let's give it a shot. Guys, I still hear the boost leak, hear this. So weird. Two thousand years later. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. This is actually day two. Cold startup. Okay. All right. Got to get out of my neighborhood. Uh, but basically, welcome back, guys. So this is actually day two. Showman Motor reached out to me to help me actually figure out the boost leak. He has a smoke tester machine at his uh, shop, so it's perfect. So hopefully we can figure out what, where the boost leak is and what's causing the issues because as soon as we fix that boost leak, this thing should be pushing insane power. But right now, with all the, everything we have, even the tune, it's not pushing any boost. I don't know why. And it's pushing a little bit of boost, but not too much. So we need to figure out what's going on with the car here. So we're heading down to Davis, which is the area that's roughly the area that's uh, where his shop's located. So uh, it's a little bit of a drive though. About 45 minutes, I think. Bang, if it gets Copper Jr. back on the road, I'll take it. This dude is chilling like a villain. He is enjoying life, I can tell you that. Oh my God, no responsibilities. My Lord, and you're cute. Come on, man. Away, um, bada bing, bada bing, bada boom, boom, boom. Where are we? Where are we? I think it's right over. Yeah, okay. I see some cars. Nope, that's not it. Probably a little bit more down, but uh, we're almost there, boys. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's this next turn right here. So, uh, pulling up. Okay, this looks really familiar. This is exactly where I got my 435. So, that's kind of crazy that it came from here about nine months ago or 10 months ago. It was chilling like a 650. I think it's an eight series. Yeah, you got an eight series. You got like a five series back there. 
the older kind. This is nice. Okay, okay. We just gotta find some place to park and then we're gonna hit up uh, Showman real quick. See if he can help me out. Yes, as you guys can see, Showman Motors. All right, so we're here at Showman's place. What's going on, bro? Uh, <laughs> he's in the middle of a phone call, guys, but check it out. He's got, this is new, right? E36.3? I've been looking at this on your Instagram. It looks so good. So is this a normal E36 M3 or? Yes. Okay. We did, it came supercharged. Like I bought what? <laughs> I didn't even know that though. Yeah, it is supercharged. That's crazy. It's supposed to, theoretically, it's going to get dynoed Monday, but it should be pushing like 600, 600 horsepower. Maybe to the wheels, I think that's fine. I've never heard of an E36 with that much power. That is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. This looks so good, the Villa yeah, yeah, aluminum. Yeah. No, 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 honestly, like the, the supercharger kit alone is like five, nine? Yeah, because he's it's stage two. He honestly paid all the money. He did everything, that's why is, I like Is it dining and everything too? Yeah, exhaust is dining, and the exhaust exhaust. Like, it only has 80K miles too, by the way. 80K? Yeah. Oh my, clean title? What? <laughs> Bro, this one's sick. This is like, oh my god, I've never seen this wing either. This looks good. That's unique. Dining exhaust. Interior is not ripping everywhere like my Bro, other E36. Seat, bro. bro, it's Vader's. <laughs> oh my god, manual of course has bada bing bada bang. This is cool. Yeah, bro, I'm excited about this one. Though. This is probably hella fast. It's supposed to have like 500 horsepower, but yeah. I'm having like this crazy boost leak. So like, we'll I, it literally feels like it has no turbos. This showman's E46 M3. This is an SMG. The seats though look beautiful. The leather, I've actually never felt E46 M3 seats. These are so nice. Harman Kardon. Wow, that actually looks mint. Oh yeah, this one bro, oh my God. That's why I never sold it, by the way. Oh, you like it? And um, he spent like good money. He tu we tuned it. Okay, so it's tuned. The intake bro was like two grand. Honestly. Oh yeah, if it, I actually know that brand. Beautiful. Yeah, no, it's gorgeous. Look at that carving. Oh man, that looks crazy. Guys, we have to get an E46 M3 on the channel for sure. This looks so good. Oh man. That's a cool thing though. Like I bought a car from another BMW enthusiast, which is awesome. But another E36 M3 G Wagon. He also, he's driving an F80 M3 as a daily, I'm pretty sure. Um, so that was super sick as well. But anyway, let's hope to God we can figure out a boost leak. <laughs> he pretty, he's pretty sure you found the leak. So uh, he thinks it's the downpipes. I don't think I replaced the gasket on there. Uh, so he's pretty sure it's the downpipes. He's gonna put on the lift, check it out, and if it's the downpipes, we'll end up replacing that. Um, we got a little cutie pie right here, chilling like a villain. <laughs> but yeah, we need to, uh, we're gonna put it up on the lift and hopefully it's our downpipes that's the actual issue. If that's the issue, then we should be able to get full boost and that'll be perfect. This dog is so chill. Look at this dude, chilling like a villain. Dang, gold, showman out here, ball. <laughs> Look at the G-Wagon. Oh man. I need showman to come to my wedding and uh, <laughs> bring his G-Wagon and everything. That'd be so sick. Guys, check out my job. No leaks or anything. Like, <laughs> we did a good job over here. Uh, but hopefully the downpipes is our problem. So it could possibly, it's, it's making this weird suction air noise. So I'm hoping that's our problem. Well, I guess we'll find out. All right guys, so it turns out, uh, it looks like the Boostic is from the downpipe, so we're gonna actually put back the stock cats because we're, uh, we're already removing um, the, 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 the downpipes again to put on the gasket, so we might as well just put the stock cats back on there. Um, that being said, the reason I'm putting the stock cats back on this is because I do plan on selling it, and uh, you know, it'd probably just be easier to smog and stuff, so that's why we're doing that. Uh, and it's but the, 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 the aftermarket downpipes probably come with the car at the end of the day I appreciate your time my bro So guys we're coming back on Monday to hopefully replace the cats You guys know I don't have a shop anymore so he's gonna help me And he's gonna we're gonna use his lips to replace it So again shout out to you my bro We're about to head home we'll see him on Monday